Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no-hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme Video, the morning edition. This is for Thursday, August 30th. I'm James Spann. The weather stays a little unsettled here through Saturday with scattered to numerous showers and storms around each day. And the tropics are beginning to heat up. Here we go. Upper air look this morning. Pretty typical for the end of August. Got the core westerlies up north, ridging here. The ridge a little weaker. The air more unstable and a very... High amount of precipitable water, so a number of showers and storms will likely fire later today. Refreshingly cool up north, seeing a lot of 40s and 50s. But down here, nope, 70s on the map this morning. We'll expect a high today in the uh, mid to upper 80s in most spots, which is actually a smidgen below average for this time of the year. There's the uh, watch warning map this morning. Pretty quiet around the nation in terms of severe weather. A couple of marginal risks well to the north of here. We're in the green. That means thunderstorms around today, but no organized severe weather expected. Tomorrow got a risk of severe storms up north. And on day three, which is Saturday, a marginal risk across parts of the nation's heartland. We stay in the green, which means thunderstorms are possible, of course. We'll see a number of them around each day through Saturday. Heaviest rain for the next seven days around the Corn Belt, Iowa, some of the adjacent states also in the northern Gulf. For inland Alabama, rain amounts between one half and one inch for most places. And of course, your number might vary. Off of the tropics, pretty good looking wave coming off the coast of Africa. The Hurricane Center giving this a 60% chance of developing in the next two days and an 80% chance of developing in the next five days. Check the modeling on this thing. Uh, now, this will be gaining latitude. That thing should be north of 20 north in a few days and typically when they get in that spot they begin to recurve and not affect the United States we don't know that for sure yet but uh, odds are fairly high this will be a recurving storm and it could ramp up pretty quickly the intensity guidance uh, the ones that pick this thing up suggest this this might be a hurricane within 72 hours but again this is far far from the United States this is the European, the chance of tropical depression formation. This is centered on Monday of next week on Labor Day. Of course, that red, that would be the uh, system with the, that should develop. The Hurricane Center is identifying. Another wave coming off the coast of Africa behind that. And a wave approaching Florida, an easterly wave. And uh, just something to watch. But again, for now, we don't expect any tropical storms in the Gulf for the Labor Day weekend. But it looks like things could be heating up as we get deeper into September. All right, model fans, let's go. This is the GFS, the 06E run, valid today at 1. Westerly's up north, ridging down here. But again, there's a weakness in the ridge, so we'll expect to see a number of showers and storms developing this afternoon and early tonight. Highs mid to upper 80s, much like yesterday. Some sun, but probably not a whole lot. Same thing tomorrow. Cloudy at times, scattered to numerous showers and storms. Highs mid 80s. And really Saturday, pretty much the same deal. Uh, the sun out at times, but a, a couple of passing showers and thunderstorms, a pretty good possibility, especially Saturday afternoon. Now, Sunday, the showers begin to thin out. There'll still be a few out there, but the ridge begins to rebuild. And next week, uh, showers should be fairly few in number as the ridge is the dominant feature. This is Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And highs next week will be around 90. And again, you can't rule out the chance of a shower, but it looks like a decent part of the week will be dry. This is a week from today, Thursday, the 6th, and again, a 594 ridge centered just north of here. That looks hot, partly sunny, with only isolated showers. Let's go out 10 days. Looking for a good push of cool, refreshing air down here? Well, no, that's not going to happen with that. Ridge in place, and again, that looks kind of hot, mostly dry. Highs for the next 10 to 15 days, upper 80s, 
to near 90 on most days, and then maybe backing down toward the mid-80s out there toward mid-month with lows by then in the middle 60s. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog, the next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. And if you can't catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.